Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Wednesday, November the 30th. It's the first week in Advent and week one in our psalm cycle. And today we celebrate the feast day of St. Andrew the Apostle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 119, verse 1 to 24, and Isaiah chapter 2, verse 1 through 11. And now please join me in singing the second verse of Come Thou Long Expected Jesus by Charles Wesley. Israel, strength and consolation, hope of all the world thou art, dear desire of every nation, joy of every longing heart. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, blessed are the undefiled, who walk in the way of the Most High. Hallelujah. Psalm 119, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, blessed are the undefiled, who walk in the way of the Most High. Blessed are they that keep your decrees and seek you with their whole hearts. They do no evil, but walk in your ways. You have laid down your precepts to be followed diligently. Oh, that my steps were firm in the way of your statutes, that I shall not be ashamed when I heed your commandments. I praise you with an upright heart as I learn your righteous judgments. I will keep your statutes. Do not forsake me. How shall the young remain sinless? By taking heed of your word. With my whole heart I sought you. O oh, let me not wander from your commands. Your word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Most High. Teach me your statutes. With my lips I have declared all the judgments of your mouth. I have rejoiced to do your will as if all riches were mine. I will meditate in your precepts and have respect for your ways. I will delight myself in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Be generous with me that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may behold the wonders of your law. I am a stranger in the earth. Do not hide your commands from me. My soul breaks, longing for your judgments. You have rebuked the proud who stray from your commands. Remove from me reproach and contempt, for I have kept your decrees. Rulers plot against me, but I meditate in your statutes. Your will is my delight, and your laws are my counselors. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed are the undefiled <clears throat> who walk in the way of the Most High. Hallelujah. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. The word uh, that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In days to come, the mountain of the Most High's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised above the hills, and all the nations shall stream to it. Many peoples shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Most High, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Most High from Jerusalem. And he shall judge between the nations, and shall arbitrate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their seared beards into pruning hooks. And nation shall not lift up sword against nation, and neither shall they learn war any more. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Most High. For you have forsaken the ways of your people, O house of Jacob. 
Indeed, they are full of diviners from the east and of soothsayers like the Philistines, and they clasp hands with foreigners. Their land is filled with silver and gold, and there is no end to their treasures. Their land is filled with horses, and there is no end to their chariots. Their land is filled with idols. They bow down to the work of their hands, to what their own fingers have made. And so people are humbled, and everyone is brought low. Do not forgive them. Enter into the rock and hide in the dust from the terror of the Most High and from the glory of His majesty. The haughty eyes of people shall be brought low, and the pride of everyone shall be humbled, and the Most High alone will be exalted on that day. Here ends the lesson. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today, and for all of your intentions. And now we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, guide us in your ways that we may remain unstained by the world. May we ever seek you and sing your praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in you, in us, can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs>